again. <laughs> I'm about to bring y'all a cook with me. We cooking spaghetti, baked spaghetti today. I got this, what is it called? A recipe <laughs> off of Pinterest. Um, I made it for a family that I used to work for when I was a nanny. They loved it, so I'm running it back again for my people, and they're gonna give me their real honest opinions. Y'all let me know down in the comments any type of suggestions, anything that I should add or take out, anything you feel like, put it down, let me know below. Cause we're gonna get into it, we're gonna get groovy. So usually um you need of course spaghetti noodles. For me, I use thin spaghetti noodles or angel hair because I really hate thick spaghetti noodles. I really Hate it. Um, but you need spaghetti noodles, whatever kind. Um, your meat, you can use ground beef. For me, I use sausage um, or you know, Italian sausage at that, not just regular sausage. Um, and, and you can get regular sausage too if you want to add you know, a little shum shum in there to it. Um, you need cream cheese, you need mozzarella, and you need your spaghetti sauce if you're not making it from scratch, which I I ain't making my from scratch. I'm sorry, I ain't doing it. All right, y'all. First things first for me, I like to prep um, my like vegetables and stuff like that. Um, I have one bell pepper, one onion. I'm about to cut that up real quick. Y'all finna see, and then we go get right into it. Bouillon to like season it, but ever since my friend BS, oh, I'm talking, <laughs> ever since my friend BS, she told me to um, instead boil the noodles in water and chicken broth, and it do taste different. I ain't lying, like, I'm about to try that now, so let's do it. We doing about like half water, half chicken broth, so oh, dang, this is Okay, so all right, that's enough water. Okay, and then we go. We got some Swanson chicken broth. I don't know what kind of chicken broth y'all use. Y'all use whatever. If you use chicken broth at all. But this is what she told me and it's really good. I'm telling y'all. I'm gonna use the rest of this because there was nothing left in there anyway. So we need to wait. All right, y'all. So I done put the oil in there. Y'all can kind of see it. I'm letting that go. Next step is um, I don't use ground beef. For the meat, I use, usually I use Jimmy Dean um, Italian sausage, but today they didn't have, well, the other day when I was in the store, they did not have the Jimmy Dean, so I went ahead and used this. This is just fine, um, but yes, I do use sausage because that shit pop, I'm telling you, try it. So we just go go ahead and put the sausage in there with some seasoning of your choice. Like I said, I'm seasoning everything, hella, hella, hella. Uh, after adding that sausage and the onion and the bell pepper to the um, actual pot, like I said, go ahead and season it however way you want it with the whatever seasons you want to season it with. Usually I use some type of Italian seasoning just because I'm, you know, cooking spaghetti, but do what you do and season, season, season. Okay, so the next step would be to grab your cream cheese because it actually needs to be not hard. It need to be very soft because you're gonna be trying to mix it together with the mozzarella. So you need to get your cream cheese. And for me, sometimes I'll leave it out. Sometimes I run hot water over it just depending on if I'm in a rush or not. I'm not in a rush because I was prepared today. So mine is thawed. Okay, y'all, my water is boiling. You see, them pots jumping, they jumping. Put your noodles in, put your... Ooh, that aroma. <laughs> so the sausage been cooked down a little. Well, it didn't cook down, but it did got cooked a little bit. And this is how it's looking. We just gonna let that cook because it's still not done yet. When that's done, we're gonna add, um, damn, I just lost my turn. 
We gonna add some spaghetti sauce. That's what we add. The spaghetti sauce is next. Yeah. All right, y'all. So while y'all waiting for y'all noodles and y'all sausage or whatever meat you use to finish cooking, um, you can be working on the inside of your spaghetti. So the cream cheese and the mozzarella. What I said earlier was your cream cheese needs to be thawed, like kind of melted, but not all the way like watery. It need to be able to be like stirred because you're gonna be mixing the mozzarella and the cream cheese together. Once the noodles are done, we're gonna put the spaghetti sauce, some of the spaghetti sauce in the noodles to wet them. Then we're gonna put the rest of the spaghetti sauce in the meat and the seasoning after you drain the excess oil off of them because I'm getting ready to do that right now because my shit almost done. But once you drain the excess oil off of them, you putting the rest of that spaghetti sauce in there on that meat. Let that cook, you know, get a little hot, 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 whatever. Then we're gonna be mixing it together. Well, actually the recipe states that you're supposed to put the noodles as a base, right? The noodles and the sauce as a base. And then you put the cream cheese and mozzarella mix then another layer of noodles and pour all of your meat on top. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna do that or not because usually the first time I cooked it, I did do it like that and it was good, but I just like meat everywhere, you know? <laughs> oh, All right, y'all. Noodles done, meat done. I'm gonna go ahead and put my spaghetti sauce in there. Don't judge me. I'm not gonna make this from scratch. I don't care what you talk about, but let's go ahead. I use Prego. Don't forget to drain your meat. I did not show y'all that I drained my meat, but I did. Don't do it to yourself. smell good y'all here go my spaghetti noodles i don't know if y'all can see that but that whole season you get what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. and we're just gonna mix Y'all, I forgot to tell y'all. Um, pepperonis. I'm about to cut these up and put them in the sauce mixture and they also go on top of it when you bake it. So, I should have did this during the prep, but I forgot, I'm sorry. Okay, y'all, so I've been thinking, I don't think I want to do the noodle noodle layer. I don't think I do. I don't, I want meat all up and through that thing. All right, y'all, so we finna get started on feeling like I said, and I told y'all that y'all cream cheese need to be, you know, thawed out so you can easily pour it. So here we go. All you're doing is mixing together Damn, hold on. All you're doing is mixing together the cream cheese and the mozzarella. So just go ahead, open up your cream cheese. It gets really messy, so just dig in it. Get your cream cheese out. Um, You usually only need like one thing of cream cheese, depending on how cheesy you want it to be. My nephew don't like it that cheesy, so I only use one thing of cream cheese. That man lactose intolerant. If you got the cream cheese in there, you just put some mozzarella cheese on there. Obviously, I love mozzarella cheese, so we getting in there and we're just mixing it together. Okay, y'all, so this is what you should be looking like in the end, okay? Like for your filling. So it's really movable. Like I said, you can mix it. If you want to put more mozzarella in there, which I am, you can. If you like it more cream cheesy, dog, it's up to you. Do what you want. 
Okay, y'all, so you, you seen earlier, I was saying that I may be not wanted noodle noodle layer, which I did decide that I don't want a noodle noodle layer. layer. I don't get all that. What? I don't want a noodle noodle layer. So what I'm gonna do is instead of just putting the meat on top, I'm gonna just mix it with the noodles and then I'm gonna still do the layering with the filling on the inside, but at least it's like spaghetti and meat on the bottom, spaghetti and meat on top, and then, you know, go from there. Cause who want a noodle and noodle layer with just meat on top? Not me. All right, y'all, we done mixing the spaghetti. And now we finna party. I got me a, you know that classic all white casserole dish with the lid that your grandma had, I got it too. Y'all, so that first layer, it wasn't enough. So we going back in. Okay, okay. Okay, y'all, so then we gonna smooth it out. Here, think about it, it's kind of like a lasagna, which I love lasagna if you don't know. Okay, so here's our filling. So good. Look at that hoe. Woo! That cream cheese mozzarella. Okay, so this is our filling. I told you I added more mozzarella. It kind of cooled down the cream cheese. I'm not gonna lie, because it's back still. But here we go. Now you're adding the mozzarella, a thin layer or a thick layer, however way you want to do it, over the spaghetti like so. Now I'm gonna put some clumps in there and then I'm going to spread it out with a fork. Cause cream cheese be acting like a little. Shit, you already know. We are spreading the cream cheese on that first layer. all the feeling except this so that's good why i know y'all probably saying leandra why did you cook all that spaghetti but you only making this much good question good question And now we're gonna get and prep this. So the last step would be the rest of your mozzarella because you shouldn't have used the whole bag. If you did, that's on you, get another bag. But the last step is using the rest of the mozzarella and just dousing it, not dousing. Y'all, don't take shots while you cook it. <laughs> and just spreading it over the spaghetti like this. Some more of our pepperonis, and we're just going to garnish it. I 
All right, y'all, the next step would be to preheat the oven. I put mine on 350 and just let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. This how it look. Y'all see it? All right, y'all. I done put the spaghetti in there. Like I said, let it bake about 15, 20 minutes. You finna see that when as soon as I get done. As for size, um, I cooked corn and green beans, you know, like mixed together. I just personally like that. And then also I'm making some garlic bread, but not from scratch again finna be boxed so y'all can do that on y'all this the finished product y'all all baked i let it bake for like 20 minutes it then cooked you can see it boiling that's how you know it's done and the cheese is melted next we're gonna get my people to taste it and tell us how they do y'all actually I did not get a chance to record their reactions to the food, but everybody liked it. I liked it. I gave it a 10 out of 10. It was very cheesy, very creamy. I really liked it, but y'all just go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment about how you felt about it. Are you going to attempt to try it? Are you going to, you know, attempt to cook it? What will you make different? You know, just let me know. Drop it down below and tell me what I should cook next. Um, but if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new to the channel, ciao, I'll see you next time. Peace.